So over here, you can see that I have a form in Access. And if I want to add in control tip and status bar text, then what I can simply do is I can go around onto view and then go to design view first. So if I were to go around over here and if I were to click any field, you can see the property sheet right here. So in order to access the property sheet, if you don't see it, then you can click on this very icon right here. So once you go around over here, you should first select out the field uh, on which you want to add in a control tip text. So over here in ID, let's say I'm going to go around over here into control tip text, as you can see right here and type in this field is generated automatically. So I'm just going to say this field is generated automatically, just like this. So this is the control tip text right here. Similarly, the status bar text is something I can add as well. So I'm going to say uh, this will be automatically generated just like this. Similarly, I'm going to go around onto the expert ID and I'm going to add in control tip text over here as well. So I'm going to say enter relevant um, expert ID just like this. So once I do that, I can go back onto form view. And as long as I go around over here, you can see as long as I hover around my mouse, you can see the control tip. So it says this field is generated automatically. If I were to go to expert ID, you can see that as I hover over right here. So let me just go around and leave my mouse right here. You can see the control tip uh, text actually appears that says enter relevant expert ID. If I were to go around onto the top and click, you can see that on the bottom on the status bar, it says this will be automatically generated. But if I were to click here, then it just says form view. There is no status bar text over there. And that is how you can add around control tip text and status bar text inside of Microsoft Access. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.